Hey everybody, welcome back to Letterman Row in our virtual film studios. For the first time ever, we've got the former Ohio State star and current Cincinnati Bengals standout, Sam Hubbard. Uh, Sam, thanks so much for joining us for uh, your first Buck IQ with us. Yeah, no problem. Happy to be here. Uh, before we get into some of the football stuff, I know that it's, uh, it's got to be hard for somebody who uh, makes their living, uh, you know, playing a game and to get out there and train during this, this tough time. But you're, you found a way to do that. You've got some options around your house and some fields nearby, but you're also using this time to give back. What, what have you got going down there in Cincinnati right now? Yeah, with uh, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, there's a, a lot of consequences of it. One of them is millions of people losing their jobs and uh, not knowing where, you know, they're going to find paychecks for groceries, food, stuff like that. So the Free Store Food Bank of Cincinnati um, it's been an amazing organization here for a long time, and I decided to part with, partner with them and uh, try and raise money to help get some, some meals to those to people that are struggling right now. Yeah, it looks like you, you set one goal that you're going to give your jersey number back and $9,400. That was matched. Now you're almost uh, nearly 19000 I think I checked before we filmed this. Uh, still going. Are you gonna, just going to keep adding stretch goals, or what's the limit here? Yeah, it's been pretty amazing. You know, right after we launched, people uh, jumped on board quick, and in a few hours we passed $9,400. Then uh, TriHealth jumped on board and matched the next $9,400. Um, we're up to about 18352 actually, exactly, with the goal of 18800 $18, And uh, also we had Carlos Dunlap, my teammate, match me as well for another 9400 as well as the Bengals ownership doing wow. another for us. So it's been amazing. We're at uh, almost 165,000 meals, so it's, it's going awesome. That's incredible. Uh, a tribute to you there, Sam. And Levin Rowe was uh, happy to, to do our part and everybody that can continue to give uh, around Ohio. Now, on to football. Uh, this guy who's now playing your position there at defensive end for Coach Jay, Zach Harrison, he's got one year under his belt, and uh, he's already got people talking about him maybe being the next Chase Young. We've got some film for you to break down, but when you've watched him or had a chance to watch him, what, what about Zach Harrison makes him a special guy uh, to live up to that Rushman legacy? Yeah, so I, uh, I remember seeing him come on visits, uh, Coach Jay showing him around, seeing him when he was just probably a freshman in high school. And I remember him being uh, just super tall, super long. And I think he was a track guy at the time or something like that. <laughs> and, uh, that's the first thing that stood out to me is his size. And after watching some of his film, he's got, you know, incredible, incredible physical tools to work with, speed, explosion. And, uh, he, yeah, he does jump off the tape just like Chase. Right, well, let's just get right to it. Uh, Sam Hubbard on Zach Harris, and it's going to be worth the price of admission here. Let's roll the tape. All right, Sam, when you watch this guy, I mean, boy, he's coming around the edge. He certainly didn't look like a true freshman when he got on campus. What is it that first stood out to you making plays like this? Yeah, well, first thing I already know, Coach Jay's in his ear. He's got the back away from him. Uh, you know, that tight end's tucked in. So first thing you know is you got an opportunity right here to get off the ball, and you can see his first step off the ball is so quick, so long. And all he has to do is beat that tackle's hands. And, uh, you know, great – Great chop club, flips his hips, gets to the corner. And, uh, you know, those are, those are your great plays you can make that sometimes if you're playing the run first or getting off the ball slow, you'll never make. So that's, that's a great play. Is it – you notice these things, and you've gone through this years of development with Coach Jay. It feels like you guys can watch other players and you're, you see him coaching the exact same toolbox, he likes to call it. Like, is it – he does he just has three or four things that he teaches you guys, but it's repetition perfection, right? And it's not, not something outlandish or crazy that he's, he's trying to teach here, right? Yeah, no, it's nothing, uh, nothing crazy at all. Like you said, it's uh, really fundamentals, being aware of the formation, understanding what, you, what you're given, what you can do, what the, the defense allows, and uh, really just when you get an opportunity to execute a, new, a move, um, just doing it with precision after you've been drilling it and, uh, you know, working on it for so long. And it's, it's pretty simple, but at the same <laughs> time, it's a, lo it's a lot harder to execute. I think that's probably why, so as we, as we 
he made all these plays as a freshman, and you can see the physical ability. But like fine tuning that technique doesn't usually happen right away. Yeah, Coach will play you guys as freshmen, but it doesn't usually look maybe perfect or you know like you can take it straight to the field like he seemed to do last year. Mm -hmm. One thing uh, Coach Jay does a great job of is usually you got older guys in the defensive line room that are doing it the right way that, you know, give you a fast track to developing so fast. You know, he's been blessed with having Chase Young in front of him to watch. I had Joey Bosa in front of me to watch. And with a combination of Coach Jay teaching you and then seeing it perform at the highest level in front of you every day of practice, it really allows you to, you know, for me, turn from a safety to a defensive end in one year and for him to make plays like this in just a few months being on campus. You know, you brought up the lacrosse and this. Like, you're, you're playing into your own storylines that we're supposed to be done with. <laughs> I thought we were done talking about all that stuff. This guy coming in here, too, like, some of the stuff is not it's, – it's just him being biz, big and physical, right? Like, we yeah. said that it's not hard. Like, when you can add to that maybe one more year or two years of development, what do you think this guy can become? I think he's got – you know, like I said, the sky's the limit. These plays that he's making – uh, this one against Maryland is just him being a lot f longer, stronger, and quicker uh, than this tackle. And, you know, he bends that edge, and usually quarterbacks step up, but he's got the ability to bend and with those long arms get the quarterback on the ground. And that's just stuff you can't teach. That's stuff that, you know, makes him an elite player already. He also got, in, got into some of these games, you know, a Big Ten championship game. I think he actually got the start uh, in the Fiesta Bowl. Like, yeah, this is a good thing. known Coach Jay, like – you know, he would get you guys involved in the Rushman package, but giving a start to a freshman, that didn't, that didn't happen usually for even the Boses or, or, you know, you or anybody else. Yeah, this is, this is a good play just because it shows as a rusher, he's pretty disciplined. You know, usually freshmen get in there, and uh, first thing they do is run straight up field, try and run past the quarterback. Right here he gets to the level, counters right back, and it's an easy sack, but only happening if you're, if you're disciplined and rushing together. That's a, that's a great play. So that, that tells you that he's got a little bit more of that maturity at that position that maybe, maybe – I didn't expect that for him in year one. Yeah, he, he hit a chop club trying to get the edge, didn't get it, stopped at the level. If he kept running around the quarterback, he opens up a scrambling lane. But, you know, he puts his foot in the ground, throws the tackle, and then gets him on the ground. That's, that's the sign of a disciplined rusher. Still two more years to work with Coach Jay there. So there's probably a pretty bright future for Zach Harrison. Might be joining – uh, Sam Hubbard is those next, the next rushman heading off to the NFL in a couple of years. Still uh, some time with the Buckeyes first, of course. So appreciate Sam Hubbard sharing his great insight with us today, talking about Zach Harrison and Ohio State Buckeyes. Thanks, Sam. Yeah, no problem. All right, we'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We've got Letterman Live. We've got the practice report. we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buckeye Key with Zach Bourne. For sure. we got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. we got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State athletics, we've got you covered here at Letterman Row.